is there uh, an antagonistic attitude towards people coming in from outside they are they are taking up homes buying land uh, they are they are even taking up jobs eating into the economy is is that a real concern for local people i think land would definitely be a concern because i don't see any local earning enough money to buy any property today unless he is you know very rich or has multiple businesses or is a ceo of a company but an average working person i mean i bought a house 20 years ago i couldn't have done the same today the problem is that people in bombay and delhi this even if you sell a land which is as big as a handkerchief you can earn enough money to buy some property in goa but a govan cannot do that you know a small apartment now costs 70 80 lakhs or even more than that you know we are talking because people from delhi and bombay can afford they that they can easily afford it for them 70 80 lakh is nothing and i want to bring in amit into the conversation because he works in the real estate industry here in goa very closely another side uh, to this story is the fact that this is you know real estate in goa is booming it's great business people are coming uh locals are naming their price and selling land selling property and uh, you, know, you now have areas in goa that are known as mini delhi well uh in part it is true but there are two sides to this story see we talk of real estate booming where is it booming it is booming only in parts in goa affordable housing is down in doldrums let me be very frank 90% of inventory is unsold so if we talk of a 90% inventory unsold in affordable sector the majority sector in goa is actually in deep distress what about you say you say 90% of inventory in in affordable housing is 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 unsold uh, but what we are learning is that the inventory for luxury housing for instance yes. is sold for many years to come yes see luxury housing what are the numbers luxury housing it's become a very popular fallacy to think luxury housing has been very great if we talk of numbers they in a year anywhere around 60 to 100 used to get sold right what happened uh, two years three years past before the pandemic the luxury housing market was down hmm. suddenly after the pandemic it became a little popular to suddenly buy into goa hmm. and by saying it in popular means it became a fad also hmm. everybody wants a holiday yeah, home in goa including me let's let's be frank goa is a aspiration yes it is a state of mind everybody 130 crore indians 135 crore indians want a house in goa that doesn't mean they'll get it right so uh, let me say this what are the numbers 400 500 unsold inventory is sold out where are the clear title plots very easy to say that there is a luxury booming there is literally no inventory so there is a artificial scarcity because there is demand yes there is demand what's been what's been the kind of escalation as someone who understands this sector really closely what's been the kind of escalation in property prices in places like asagam 100% in how many years less than a year less than a year 100% escalation but there are no plots left so uh, if we say that uh, this boom is going to continue yes it will continue because there is literally nothing to sell